What's going on everyone? This is Kevin Breeze here and after a long journey, I have made it to IFA Berlin. So it is day one, technically tomorrow's day one, but we're doing some media stuff today. So we're gonna do show stoppers in a second. And this is the South Hall back here. And I am with Tech Daily right now. What up, what up? What's Happy up, man? Here. Dude, it has been a long journey, but we made it. We did. We're here and we're ready to see some new tech. I'm some ready. Interesting tech. Some tech yep. we probably don't need, but might buy anyway, right? Yeah, maybe some uh, Samsung A-series phones, some TCL products as well. Definitely a lot of good stuff. LG, and, Samsung, yeah. saw a bunch of their signs. Yeah, definitely. And we just took a six hour train ride to get here from the Netherlands. So yeah, I'm hyped. What's going on everyone? I've made it over to Showstoppers. So there's a variety of different tech brands here and just a great opportunity to network and meet fellow creators and learn about what's new. So it's pretty cool. Definitely a lot of brands here. Really a little bit of everything. So this is my first time at IFA and this event is tied to IFA, but it is its own separate event. Yeah, the display looks yes, so clear and the colors are really good. It is. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. What is it? A 4K display? Or? Um, so it's, it's technically 2.5. Okay. So, but it's up to 600 nits uh, HDR. Wow. Yeah. And being an OLED. Wow. That's cool. This is the first time you guys have done a form factor like this? This is actually or? our second. Okay. So this is our second second version. So we, we learned a lot in the first one. Uh, we've had one in the, we were the first mobile PC in the market in 2020. Mm -hmm. And so this is our next generation. Uh, That's great. And then what's the biggest innovation with this new generation? Um, we have a new hint. So the hinge folds all the way flat. So it's very, very modern looking. Mm -hmm. um, we also go to a bigger screen size. So we were at a 13 inch screen size, now we're at a 16.3. Yeah. So the 16.3 allows for the 16.3 that way, or when you're this way, it's 12 inches on each side. Yeah, that makes it a lot more useful. And be able to have that 12 inch display on the, the bottom half of the screen. Wow. So if you're looking for a good solution to go off the grid, Trackery has the Explorer 1000 Pro. So they have the solar panel over here, and in nine hours, it can recharge this entire unit. And you can see here that we have a variety of different ports. We have USB-A, USB-C. We also have traditional wall outlets as well. So it's really a nice all-in-one solution in order to take care of all your power needs, whether it's a power outage or whether you're camping. Definitely a lot of situations where this can come in handy. So we're here with Riley Scooters and they're focusing on portability with their scooters. So you can see we have a full-size scooter right here and it can fold up into a very small size. We've made it over to day one at IFA 2022 here in Berlin. We were at Showstoppers yesterday, so it's kind of like day one and a half. I did manage to get about 10 hours of sleep last night. So I did sleep in a little bit. So we're not here right when doors open at 10 a.m., but it is like, what, 11.30? But you can see TCL once again is taking over the various posters and branding. We're here in the lobby at the convention center. Looks like we've got some show floor on the left side there and on the right side as well. So quite a bit to see here. Now the first stop of the show is LG. They were showing off a variety of different innovations in display technology, but the biggest thing that they were showing off were their color changing refrigerators. So that's pretty awesome. You can mix and match various panels on the refrigerator, or you can have it be all the same color. Regardless of which route you choose to go, it's really nice that you can customize the look of your refrigerator to match other various elements in your kitchen. And of course, all of this can be controlled from the app. Now another product that caught my eye over at the LG booth is their dual up monitor. Essentially with this monitor, it's 16 by 18 aspect ratio. So you can either have it be one giant monitor or you can have two different 16 by nine inputs stacked on each other. What do I want? Do I want salami? Just cheese? 
or turkey, ham, chicken. chicken? Okay, Maybe. yeah, a lot of good, <laughs> a lot of good options here. What do you think? What are you doing? Oh, one of these sandwiches right here. One of those? Doing, yeah. yeah. Um, Subscribe to Kevin Breeze. That link, yeah, so one thing that we've learned about IFA is that it is very confusing. Ridiculously confusing. There are so many different buildings, staircases, floors, floors trap doors, <laughs> outdoor dead ends. I mean, yeah, and look, like look this, this is how we're supposed to figure out where we're even going. This is our first time at IFA. Of course, we're having a great time. Everyone's doing a great job running the show. I didn't really know what to expect as far as what the show floor looks like because I never really saw any pictures of the entire show floor. And now it makes sense because it is so fragmented throughout this entire, it's almost like a factory where uh, <laughs> the show floor is. I again, great, great place. We're having a great time. It gets the job done, but wow, it is a maze. Now, maybe by the fifth or sixth year that I come here, I'll finally know where I'm going. Now, VinFast is definitely a company that I'm really excited about for multiple reasons. One of the major reasons is because of the form factor of their vehicles. I feel like they're really good looking cars. I like the styling a lot. And just the fact that they're kind of more of a traditional look compared to, you know, the Tesla Model Y or the Cadillac Lyric or any of those. I don't really like those kind of station wagon looking EVs. And they've even got over here, the VF9 that really has a cool look to it. Almost kind of reminds me of the Kia Telluride, but it still has its own look, right? jumped in here just in case of this. Right. So when we test drove, they didn't have any of this stuff in here yet. They had, Really? Yeah. At least the model. I forget which one that we ended up test driving, but they, they have a heads up display as well. None of that stuff was even like... Oh yeah, there's no gauge cluster. No, it's a, it, it should be a heads up display. But when I test drove it in Vietnam, it was great. I mean, it was- Yeah, say it again. You were in Vietnam, right? They... So yeah, shout out to VinFast. I was in Vietnam driving um, a couple of their cars and- Who were, are you? Oh, hi, I'm Tech Daily. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I was in Vietnam um, with VinFast a couple of months ago, driving a couple of their cars, pre-production kind of models and everything. And this is a very complete, finished version of, of the interior with the display and, and everything like that. And it's a really nice car, yeah. inside and out. Really great fit and finish. Yeah, Yeah. seriously, I am pretty impressed with VinFast. I mean, they're great looking cars. The interior feels a good quality. I like that user interface here. I mean, there's not much more you can really ask for. And they've got big goals as far as production goes. They're gonna be all over the world in the US, right? by the end of 2022. Yeah, supposedly. So, I know what I want for sure. I wish they'd make a small pickup truck, like a Ford Maverick or even a Rivian-sized pickup, but I'm sure that's in the pipeline. But so far, so good. Now, heading over to the Samsung booth, it is massive, pretty much its own entire building, so quite a bit of space here. Now, they didn't necessarily show off that many things that are brand new, but they did have a lot of Fold 4s and Z Flip 4s on display. And in fact, those are pretty much the only smartphones on display here. They didn't have the S22 out or any of the A-series phones, but I suppose that's because they especially wanted to focus on their foldables here. They also had some of their various monitors and gaming accessories, so that's pretty nice as well. And in addition to that, they did have some different smart home solutions to show us too, especially some that include AI integrated into it so that you're able to get the most efficiency out of your home. So if you thought the Samsung booth was good, wait until you see the TCL booth. 
it is an entire building as well. And what's really cool about TCL over the years is just seeing how they've expanded into so many different product segments. Of course, they started with their TVs, but at this point, you can see over here, they've got air purifiers, portable AC as well. Also some wall mounted AC. Looks like they have a water heater down there too. And then heading over here, you can see they have refrigerators and also washers and dryers. So I would definitely bet on TCL continuing to evolve and offer even better appliances and you know a whole range of different devices beyond what they start off with. You can see that as a water dispenser on there. TCL also has their smart glasses, so the Nextwear S. Now, of course, they've not forgotten about where they started. They still have a lot of different TVs here on display. Lots of different options at various price points. However, there's not really any prices listed here. This is pretty cool. The cinema wall, 136 inch 4K display. Hundred and forty four hertz, so if you want to do some gaming on your TV, that can definitely come in handy for that. We also have the TCL Art TV. So I would assume that this is a competitor to the Samsung frame, which I feel like I've been hearing more and more about that lately, especially on social media. So I can definitely see that catching on more and more as time goes on. So even though TCL does have a lot here at the show, it looks like they don't have any mobile devices on display, which is fine. I'm gonna be at MWC next spring and also of course CES. And at both of those shows, TCL always has a lot of mobile devices to show off and announce. So I'm definitely excited for that. Well, this concludes our time on the show floor at IFA 2022 here in Berlin. Definitely pretty interesting. This is my first time being here. And what do you think overall? This was really interesting. A lot of great tech, um, a lot of stuff that we as US influencers don't get to see, which is right. great. Um, Definitely. A lot of companies, a lot of products. I would say well worth it, well worth the trip over. For sure. Now, one thing that is definitely obvious from probably the vlog that you're watching right now is that there are not too many smartphones here at the show. Now that does kind of make sense because we do have MWC in Barcelona coming up in the spring. But if you're coming here looking for smartphones, I mean, outside of maybe Huawei, Honor, Samsung, Nokia kind of, and maybe like a few smaller brands, there's really not many smartphones to be found. But as far as pretty much all other tech and especially uh, home, appliances. home appliances, yeah, there's a lot of them here. So, so yeah, a really cool experience and looking forward to being back next year.